for the car in one place. And suddenly, they gave the sound of the Holy Ghost from heaven, and of a mighty rushing wind. According to Acts 2 and 16, they began to speak with other tongues. Men began to persecute. Men began to say they were mad. Some said they were drunk with new wine. But I heard people stood up and said, these are not drunk as they suppose. But this was prophesied by Joel, the prophet, in the last state, said God Almighty, I will pour my spirit upon all things. Yes, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Now when they heard this, according to Acts 2 and 36, they were pricked in their hearts. Yes. Then in the 37th verse, we heard them asking questions. And this is the question that they have. Men and brethren, what shall we do to be saved? Then I heard the great Peter, the key man, stood up and said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the mission of the sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He went and made his promises unto you, they are children, children, to them that are far off, and as many as the Lord thy God shall call. Those who are strained today, hear the voice of Jesus calling. Will you come to Jesus Christ now? Accept him as your Savior. He's out of the Lord's church. He's still calling. He's calling you here in your end. Will you come to Jesus? Jesus Christ is ready to receive you. Will you come to him now? Jesus is calling you. Come to Jesus Christ. Repent and be baptized now. How will you come? He's calling you to be come to him. Will you come to Jesus Christ? We are beseeching you to be come to Jesus. The time is at hand. Will you come to him now? Jesus is calling you. Come to him now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come to Jesus.